Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This video is the first episode of a brand new series on my channel inspired by Amtrak Guy 365's famous Engines of Amtrak series in in celebration of 400 subscribers. Thank you all truly so much. This series will cover every single piece of rolling stock a part of New Jersey Transit's roster. In this first episode, we will recover the Jersey Arrow or Arrow 3. Let's get started. For context, the Jersey Arrow is a type of electric multiple unit rail car developed for the Pennsylvania Railroad in the mid to late 1960s and used through successive commuter operations in New Jersey through New Jersey Transit or NJ Transit. This series of rail cars replaced the aging Lackawanna multiple units from the 1930s. Three models were built and only the third model or generation is still in use today. This series is similar to SEPTA's Silver Liner series but includes center doors among other differences in details. Let's take a closer look at how the Arrow 3 has progressed through its life, serving millions of commuters and contributing, and contributing to the development of the New Jersey Transit Rail Network. The first series of Arrows, called Arrow 1s, classed as MA-1A or PRRMP85E6, were built in 1968 and 1969 by the St. Louis Car Company. 35 were built and purchased by the New Jersey Department of Transportation, or, MJ, or NJDOT for short. These cars were initially numbered 100 to, 100 to 134. These cars were built with the higher capacity 3-2 seating which caused grumbling by the passengers at the time. In 1966, the NJ Dot ordered 35 PRR MP85 class multiple unit cars from St. Louis Car Company for high speed service between New York and Trenton with a design solely based on the SEPTA Silverliner 3 units, then under order from St. Louis Car Company. The first two cars, 100 and 101, were delivered in August 1968 and passenger service for the New Jersey Arrow family began on October 30th, 1968. The body and structure was all stainless steel. Although these cars bear some resemblance to the Silverliner 3, also produced by the St. Louis Car Company at the time, they are very, very, very different mechanically. They feature diamond-shaped twin-armed stem and pentagraphs, rounded windows, right-side operating controls, center doors, and a different body shape. The Arrow 1 used the Westinghouse SCR track pack propulsion units with 700 horsepower per car, with four motors, while the Silverliners had General Electric air-cooled ignitrons. During 1976, 19 of the 33 surviving Arrow 1s were rebuilt to be compatible with the new Arrow 2s. This involved the replacement of Symington Wayne SW800 hook type couplers with the Wabco M2A couplers used by subsequent Arrow multiple units. As they were rebuilt, they were renumbered from 500 to 533, with car 134 being renumbered to 507 to account for the loss of 107 during a derailment. A further renumbering of the Arrow 1s to 1200 to 1233 was planned, however, this was never implemented as the Arrow 1s were instead retired. The Arrow 1s were stored as the Arrow 3s arrived from the General Electric. All cars were out of service by 1980 due to reliability issues with their Westinghouse control equipment. These problems were a result of poor wiring and frequent electric grounds. The Arrow 1 car sat unused until 1986. Realizing that the car body still had many decades of service left on them, New Jersey Transit made the decision to have them rebuilt into locomotive hull coaches. Nicknamed Comaro coaches. No, not the Chevy Camaro, the Comaro. In 1987 and 1988, 30 cars were converted into the Comet 1B cab control cars and trailer coaches by Morrison Knudsen at the Hornell New York locomotive shop. Three Arrow 1s, 519, 521, and 523, were heavily damaged by arson and were salvaged for use in the Comet 1B program before being scrapped. The rebuilt Comet 1B cars remained in service for two decades, first on the Newark Division diesel service and then transferred to the Hoboken Division diesel lines in 2005, before being retired by New Jersey Transit in late 2008, with some now leased and sold and others since scrapped. 14 have found a new life yet through another rebuilding on Amtrak California or Caltrans's interim coaches. Cabs were removed from the 12 cab cars and the interiors rebuilt to resemble Amtrak coaches with 64 passenger intercity seating installed in place of the old commuter seating. 
the 14 rebuilt Caltrans Comet 1Bs were overhauled and delivered between 2013 and 2014 and are still in service today on the, sh on the San Jokung line. In 1974, General Electric produced 70 Arrow 2 cars in the married pair format, classed as MA-1G. These cars were built in GE's Erie shops with car shells from Avco. The Arrow 2s were numbered 534 to 603. They were purchased specifically to replace the ancient PRR MP54s, which were slowly phased out of New Jersey service in late 1977. The Aero 2s were constructed following the production of SEPTA single unit Silverliner 4s, but prior to the married pair of Silverliner 4 units. Indeed, the Aero 2 and the Silverliner 4 share the same body shell. Cap corner air scoops and single arm Favoli handographs, with the primary differences being the shorter air intake hump on the roof, corresponding to lack of dynamic brakes, and the inclusion of the high level center door as on the Arrow 1. One important feature was the 2x2 seating, which was a result of passenger complaint over the 3x2 seating on the Aero 1. The Aero 2s also featured a toilet in the B car. In service, the Aero 2s were frequently leased to Amtrak for off-hour clocker trains. From June 1978 until the summer of 1979, the Aero 2s were leased on to Mark or Maryland Area Regional Commuter, where they bumped in the last operating MP54s from service. Cars 590 and 591 were heavily damaged in, in a collision at Seabrook, Maryland on June 9, 1978, early in their mark service, but were, re but were later returned to service. From late 1979 till about 1982-ish, the Aero 2s were loaned to Amtrak and were used for Silverliner service and off-peak clockers. Upon the formation of New Jersey Transit, or NJ Transit, the Aero 2s were called back to New Jersey. The Aero 2s have been well worn during their time with Amtrak and required a thorough over overhaul. Work began at Morrison Newton in January of 1983, with cars receiving several upgrades for compatibility with with the Aero 2s. Almost every part was rebuilt or upgraded, including brakes, couplers, motors, gearboxes, and electrical gear. Among some of the noticeable changes, the 2x2 seats were replaced with 3x2 seats, increasing the capacity from the A car to 100 to 119, and the B car from 96 to 113. The cars were renumbered to 1234 to 1303, and repainted for New Jersey Transit as they were outshopped from late 1983 to 1984. The Aero 2s briefly returned to service on the Newark division, but were ultimately reassigned to the Hoboken division for the rest of their service lives. In 1997, the decision was made to retire them due to rotting floors, holes in the roofs, and being replaced by the ALP 44s and Comet 4 coaches, ordered for the Midtown Direct Service trains, in push-pull configuration as replacements. Most were scrapped in 2001. Pair 1236 and 1237, renumbered to 601 and 602, still remain, however split, as a part of SEPTA's wire inspection train. <laughs> The Aero 3s were built in 1977 and 1978 by General Electric in the same fashion as the Aero 2s. They consist of 200 cars numbered as Mary pairs from 1334 to 1533 and 30 single cars numbered 1304 to 1333. These cars were initially ordered as part of a plan to rehabilitate the NJ DOT later NJ Transit's Hoboken division, converting the 3000 volt direct current system to a 25 kilovolt 60 hertz AC system. However, due to the retirement of the Arrow 1 MUs and the Arrow 2s frequently being leased to Amtrak and Mark, as well as delays to the rehabilitation of the Hoboken electrification, the Arrow 3s were assigned to the former Penn Central electrified lines instead. As a result, the Aero 2s and only a portion of the Aero 3 fleet were devoted to the Hoboken Vision when the electrification work was finally finished in 1984, with the remaining Aero 3s being assigned as the only MUs in service on the Northeast Corridor and North Jersey Coastline. Due to the lack of an automatic transform tap charger, the Aero 3s cannot switch between line voltages while in service. To prevent confusion, 
A triangular orange sticker is affixed under the front window of each car. With the current voltage, the unit is set to 12K for the Newark division and 25K for the Hoboken division. After the North Jersey coastline was changed to 25 kilovolts south of Matawan, MU service to Long Branch was replaced by push-pull train sets only. The Arrow 3's body shell is similar to that of a Silverliner 4 and Arrow 2. However, the Arrow 3's have some prominent differences, notably the two small air intake blisters as opposed to the large humps on prior models. The Arrow 3's also featured the twin arm stem and pentagraphs as on the Arrow 1's, but built by the United Knitting Machine Corporation. These were replaced with single arm transect type pentagraphs between 2011 and 2014. The large central air scoop over the center of the roof on each cab end is the final major spotting feature. Additionally, the Arrow 3's saw the return of 3x2 seating. The Arrow 3's were given a midlife overhaul between 1992 and 1995 by ABB. The rebuild replaced the original DC propulsion system with the new solid state AC asynchronous propulsion system that also included higher power traction motors with a total of about 375 horsepower per two axle truck which makes about 750 per car if you want to put it that way. The increased power per motor allowed for motors to be eliminated from the truck located under the pentagraph in each of the married pairs reducing the number of powered axles per pair to 6, although raising the horsepower to 1,125. Single units retained all four powered axles with a total of 750 horsepower. After the rebuild was completed, problems were encountered with both traction motor and axle bearing overheating, which lowered the maximum permitted speed on service to 90 miles per hour and then 80 miles per hour from an initial service speed of 100 miles per hour. As of 2013, New Jersey Transit uses Arrow 3s extensively on the Morrison Essex lines, the Montclair Boudin lines, the Princeton branch, the North Jersey Coast line, and the Northeast Corridor line. Although in the summer of 2014, many Comet series, including the Comet 5 cars, replaced the Arrow 3 cars for the express service to and from New York. The weekend shuttle service between New York and Secaucus Junction and service to Rockway, South Amboy, and Matawan on the North Jersey coastline. During the later years of the Arrow 3 service, New Jersey Transit had considerations to replace all Arrow 3s with self-propelled rail cars similar in design to that of the Bombardier multi-level coach. In December of 2018, a contract was awarded to Bombardier for 113 new electric multiple unit coaches designed as multi-level 3, 58 units with AC electric propulsion systems and 55 unpowered cars. Contract included options for up to 636 more cars for NJ Transit as well as 250 cars for SEPTA Regional Rail when fully exercised. The Arrow 3 is one of the best electric trains on New Jersey Transit's roster and in my opinion one of the best in the country. It is fast acceleration, comfortable seating, iconic horn, and quiet and soothing ride and great looks from the design that was borrowed from a train from the 1950s. That's my honest opinion though, you're free to have your own. Thanks for watching this first episode of the new Engines of New Jersey Transit series. If you like what you've seen and or want to see more of the series, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching everyone, and goodbye!